Hey guys, this is Hamon and welcome back to Bite Size, the show where I review games that I take an interest in. They don't have to be old, they don't have to be new, they just have to be something I'm interested in. And today we are looking at Code Vein. It is a anime Dark Souls. That's about it. Because the story is... And see if you can get where the tropes are for a Dark Souls game out of this, as I say it. You are a revenant which has awoken in the post-apocalyptic world with no memories of whatsoever of what caused your condition alongside someone that has no memories as well. You uh, join up with the group and you explore the place to figure out what on earth is going on so that you can potentially save the world or make it so that you can at least coexist with the humans that are remaining. So yeah, there's a lot of tropes in there that I could see and a lot of tropes in other th from other things including animes. But we'll just get into the ones that I typically find. First off, graphic-wise, it is dark, gritty, and monsters dare the stereotypical looking dark creature type things. Like, they're, they're called the Lost, and they're supposedly people that have lost their way that, you know, because they wanted blood, too much blood or something like that. In some cases, they start off in their normal form, but as they continue in this Lost mindset, they turn into giant creatures. And, uh... <laughs> In that case, it's very interesting. Uh, the characters themselves, uh, they, they're the standard JRPG look, you know, anime-ish with all this stuff. I've designed my character to look as close as possible to one of my OCs, as if they lived in that world. And she looks good. I mean, dang, she looks good. But in any case, as for the gameplay, it is stereotypical. You can attack, dodge, parry, basically explore the entire place. So it's not really that different because as you're exploring you discover the lore of why the things happened and all this, all that stuff. And I'm gonna assume at some point you're gonna end up in the human area and find out that the humans are actually trying to prevent you from saving the world because they want to be in control of things and all that. I'm only assuming because I haven't gotten that far yet. I have gotten to the point where I see an actual human and that they were very much not wanting to be used as a blood bank by random people. So understandable. But yeah, obviously we're on the side that wants to actually help them, so yeah. I mean, okay, going back to gameplay, the whole thing is that it's it's a Dark Souls-esque game, so a lot of the elements are there. It's, like, you rest at the resting point and everything comes back and you can kill them all over again. I mean, I could practically farm it if I wanted to. Like, seriously. In any case, it's fine. I really have no issues and thus, for the final verdict, I will say... If you want a anime Dark Souls experience, I would say get check it out. It is available on the Xbox Game Pass currently for free if you're a subscriber. Otherwise, it is on every other system and PC in general for the price at the lower left hand of the screen. And I believe at the time of this recording, it should be on sale for $11.99 if I had remembered clearly. For the normal one, if you want to get the D the one that has all the DLC in it, I think that's a lot more expensive, so bear that in mind. But with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!